Hey everyone, so we're going to be looking at uh, the Cross Tour. This is the CT9100. Um, they call it a sport action camera. It's basically um, what most people know as a GoPro. So <clears throat> obviously that's a brand name. This is, uh, this is a much, much less expensive alternative. Uh, which we're, you know, they're starting to come into the market. People are realizing that there's a market for it. So you're starting to get different brand names. Um, this is by Cross Tour, which for my purposes, looks like they've got a lot of, uh, a lot of the features that I need. And apparently they say that they have a lot of accessories included in the, um, item description. I see a huge box here. So before I even look at the camera, I'm just curious to see just how many accessories we have. Uh, wow, this is packed to the gills. So there's a remote control there. Um, looks like a clip of some type there. A mount for the camera. Yet another mount. And a clamp type mount. So I can go on a bike or something maybe. This right here, not quite sure what this guy's for. Um, probably looks like there's actually adhesive on this, so that's for mounting it to an item or to something. Some Velcro strips here, I'm guessing for wire management and all that. Um, zip ties, extra adhesive, and a little cable. I'm guessing so you don't lose the camera if it falls off of something. Our USB cable, a couple of other ball type mounts, yet another mount here, which is kind of angled. So you've got a whole assortment of um, mounting methods that you can use. Basically, whichever works the best for you is the one you're going to use. We've also got this little strap here. Uh, let's see what else. It looks like this is actually a charger. And you got two of these little batteries right here. So these are, looks like a thousand fifty milliamp hours. Should be pretty decent. They actually advertise anywhere from 60 minutes to 90 minutes, the box itself says 120 minutes, so I'm not sure which is which, but it looks like it just gonna kind of depend on um, the type of recording you're doing. And this little piece right here, which I'm guessing is also part of the case. So I'm gonna push this aside for now, and we'll grab the camera, and here it is. It's actually pretty compact. Oh, this looks like this is a separate door for the back. Um, not quite sure what the difference is. I'm guessing, actually, this is, this is waterproof. This I don't think is, because if I peel that off, I've got two little slots in it. So, my guess is that if you're not going to be underwater, you're going to be using this so you can get clear audio. And if you are underwater, you're going to be using this guy, so that's completely sealed off. Um, so the camera itself is actually pretty small. It's a little smaller than I even expected it to be. Let's get it out of the case here. Just so we can get a closer look at it. So here it is. That, that is actually pretty tiny. Um, especially since, I mean, this is advertised as 20 megapixel photos, 4K and 2.7K video at 30 frames per second. Um, 1080p at 120 frames a second and 720p at 240 frames per second. So you've got um, you've got a pretty decent recording capability. And if I'm not mistaken, this model does include the ability to do time lapse photography as well. So there's our little battery door. I just want to pop this in here. Um, just kind of see what our menu looks like so I wish that was a little bit more easy to use but it's not too bad 
Um, so we'll hit that and see what menu we get. So we're gonna, there's actually not that many buttons to deal with. There is uh, up, down, side to side, I guess. I mean, depending on what functions you're doing, an okay button and then just the mode button up front. So you're not gonna be fiddling with this thing too much. So obviously set to video there. And then by pressing the mode button on the front, you can kind of scroll through the different options. Uh, let's see. So there's also the Wi-Fi for um, getting your, your photos off of the camera or you wanna send them directly to your phone. There's actually an app that pairs with this for control of it as well. Um, but I do have to kind of go through this because I don't know what any of the functions are. I don't know if, you know, holding the, so holding the power button, of course, turns it off. Um, yeah, so I'm going to kind of have to go through this and try to figure out what's what. And what I will do is I'm actually going to shoot a couple of short video samples and, uh, we'll see, we'll see what kind of, uh, video quality we get out of it. So what I'm gonna do, like I said, I'll shoot some video and then uh, I'll just kind of talk over the video samples as you watch them. My biggest curiosity is to see, um, aside from just the different functions, to see what we, you know, what kind of motion blur and that kind of stuff we have, simply because it's not gonna be much use to us as a an action type camera if we can't get uh, decent shots and we have a bunch of motion blur going on. So, um, I don't know how well you can see this, but it is a wide angle lens. This is 170 degrees and they advertise it as having a, um, a correction to the, um, to the image so that you don't have that extreme fisheye effect. So we're going to shoot a couple of different sample videos and then, um, I'll show you what those look like and we'll go from there. So I got a chance to mess with this for just a few minutes and I want to show you really quick. So um, changing between modes and everything is really actually pretty intuitive once you once you kind of know the secret to this. So if you press this OK button and hold it for just a second, you'll get these screens. Obviously that's settings, that's playback. But this one right here, if you hit OK to this one, you have all the different modes. Um, so regular video, Slowly is basically a uh, slow motion. So that's where your 1080p at uh, 120 um, frames per second or the 720 at 240 frames per, frames per second will come in. Um, I actually did not look at the loop recording. I believe that's just um, set up so that you don't have a, um, you don't miss anything if I'm not mistaken. I I'd actually have to look at the manual again, but you got time-lapse, um, photo, obviously with um, the different photo modes as well, burst, auto timer, and timer. So um, it's actually really simple to set up, really easy. Um, and then I also wanted to just really quick, since I got a second about to figure it out, was look at the case. So I actually, uh, I removed the, the mount down here. And so, I was looking at this and it was kind of not making sense to me because I saw this little pin down here and I thought, oh wow, I gotta get a tool just to pull that pin out to switch case backs. But then I realized all you gotta really do is just push it. Um, there's actually a little, a little, almost like a, it, it snaps into a slot right here. It's really hard to see here, but if you just pull it right out and then you take your other one, line it up, just push it straight in it'll snap back in and you're good to go uh, so that's one the other thing that i noticed about this case which is actually really cool as well is that all of these buttons right here are you know they obviously they correspond to the buttons inside the camera but it's designed so that you can actually use all the functions while it's still in the case fully waterproof and you don't have to worry about you know whether or not you uh you turned it on before you threw it in the case or something like that i mean i don't know how these things are these days but 
I know that back in the day before you put a camera in the case, you had to make sure it was recording and all that because you just didn't have access to your buttons through the, uh, through the exterior of the case. So just to illustrate that point, I'm going to throw this in here. We'll clip this in and we have complete control over this. So, you know, we have all our options. We can go back and forth, do whatever we need to do. And little cool little hint back when you're in any one of these menus is the mode button. So press the mode button, it'll just bring you right back here. Um, so now that I got all this figured out, now that I know what I'm actually doing with this thing, I'm gonna record a short little video clip with the camera so that we can hear both the audio and see the video quality of it. So here we are, we're actually recording with the camera itself. Um, you can actually see that I have a much wider shot even right here at um, just at my desk. Uh, the main reason I wanted to record this was just for the just to get a, an idea of the image quality and the sound quality. Kind of want to get an idea of distortion towards the edges of the screen um, or the, the lens actually just because you know it is a wide angle ledge, lens and it does advertise that there is uh, there's correction that's built into it. Um, another cool little thing that I, I mean it, it's probably not that big of a deal but I was just checking out the charger um, so I was sitting here thinking okay well your cat your batteries are just gonna sit up here and they're gonna be flopping around and every time you bump into it your battery's gonna go up and come flying out that's actually not true there are little tabs in here that hold your battery pretty well in there so they actually do click in and um, it does hold it in there so that's kind of nifty too they kind of they, they did think of um, of all the little nuisances that you might run into and they actually did uh, did do a pretty good job at figuring all that out so again there's so many mounts in here I mean you know some of them are just angled one way or the other some of them are larger or smaller just kind of want to lay them out here just so you kind of have an idea of what you're getting because I know on the item listing page it's not giving you a uh, it's not telling you exactly what is or is not included it's just saying that there are various mounts um, and uh, uh, interestingly enough it says that they're they also do fit for a GoPro or other uh, you know action cameras so basically it's giving you that option of using these for, for, for another camera if you happen to have one um, again there's <laughs> there's a ton of these things in here half of them I'm not even sure how you would utilize so you know I'm sure somebody else can figure that part out like I mean you got this one right here I don't know if this was designed to basically be able to offset um, offset your camera so that you know you, you can kind of change direction so I guess that's kind of cool um, you know for in my case I got everything on a, a little tripod where it's movable but of course if you're for example, going to take and uh, I'm not even sure if I'm using this right, but if you're going to take this little guy and stick this on on your skateboard or your car or whatever it happens to be and use it, then you have that option. And I mean, with all the different mounts that they do include, I don't think you're going to have any issues finding something that does work for you. So. It looks like they've pretty much well, you know, they've pretty much thought of everything, all the different arrangements you can do with these. Uh, like this one, for example, this actually looks like it would hold the camera, and then you can mount it one way or another. It looks like it clips in, so that's kind of cool. This little guy, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> like I said, I'm not too sure as to what some of these do. I thought maybe they slide in like a buckle type thing, maybe, oh there you go, yeah so that slides in there, so that looks like it belongs in there, um, this is just, oh here you go, I got this one that goes in there like that, so I'm 
pretty starting to figure it all out. And this one looks like there you go. So that's a little almost like a belt clip. You can just have that sitting on your side or whatever else you want to clip it to and just have the recording. Uh, again, so this was the Cross Tour CT9100. Um, if I'm not mistaken, oh, by the way, I forgot there is a little remote control that's included. And I'm not mistaken, this little strap goes to the remote so that you could, for example, put this on your wrist or on your arm or wherever you happen to need it and control your camera without having to worry about too much of that nonsense. Um, so, if I remember correctly, this is somewhere in the neighborhood of $80 or so, and you do get 4K video, and you get it in a waterproof case with all the different little mounting options. I can't really find a reason to complain. Um, the only thing, like I said, the only thing that I wish was different on this camera was the way that the uh, the battery door was a little annoying to get into. Um, but you shouldn't be replacing, you shouldn't be needing to replace batteries that often. Other than that, I mean, I can't really, I can't really find a find anything to complain about. I think it does everything that I want it to, and it does it. Uh, for a pretty, pretty um, reasonable price. So yeah, if you need an action camera or just a camera to sit around and record, or you want to be able to do time lapse photo photos or whatever it is, slow mo around the house. I don't know. Uh, definitely check this out. It's nice and compact, so you can probably put this in a little bag, or even maybe find a little pouch for it. Because other than all the different mounts, if you don't need that, all you have is your remote, your battery and charger, and the camera itself, and you can just throw all that in a tiny little pouch of some kind and just take it wherever you want to go and set up whatever shots you need to set up. So there you have it. That's, again, the Crosstour CT9100. Until the next video.